Welcome to the Rookery South Energy Recovery Facility. Today, we'll look at how the plant was built during a construction period lasting three years, which ended in January 2022. We'll also see how, now fully operational, electricity is produced from waste which can't be recycled and would otherwise have been disposed of in a landfill. Hitachi Zosen Innova, or HZI, are the main engineering, procurement and construction, or EPC, contractor. They move on to the site to prepare the ground for the three-year build phase. Building work starts on the waste bunker area. Over 5,000 metres cubed of concrete is required, using a construction method known as slip forming. The bunker is built over a six week period. The work takes place 24 hours per day, seven days per week. Once built, the bunker is almost 30 meters tall. Work continues to complete building foundations using over 750 tons of reinforcing steel. Four tower cranes and over 10 mobile cranes were required during the construction phase to install over 6,000 tonnes of building and process steelwork. In March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic required the introduction of strict protocols to protect the hundreds of people working at the site. Over the same period in 2020, several large components were delivered, including the silos for the flue gas treatment system. Specialist heavy haulage vehicles transported the steam turbine, weighing 160 tonnes, from the port of Tilbury to Rookery South. The turbine was carefully lifted into position using specialist cranes. In the summer of 2020, the site took delivery of the three flue stacks for installation, each one standing 105 metres tall. With the process equipment now installed and connected by over 10 miles of pipe work and 150 miles of electrical cabling, the site is becoming ready for the all-important commissioning phase. During commissioning, every component is fully tested for operational readiness by a team of specialist engineers. In summer 2021, after over two years of construction and commissioning, the site is now ready to receive the first delivery of residual waste. This is waste that might otherwise end up in a landfill, the least sustainable method of waste management. Hello and welcome to the control room here at Rookery South Energy Recovery Facility. My name's Paddy Kelly, I'm the facility manager here and I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we do in the control room. The control room is behind me, let's go and have a walk around. So here we are in the heart of the control room. Through here you can see the waste bunker where we've got the cranes responsible for mixing the waste and then feeding it into the furnace 
feed chutes over on the left. If you look over here, you can actually see inside the furnace on those screens there, uh, showing we've got a good healthy burn. Over here, we've got the operating station where the plant operator is making sure that the three boilers uh, are, are behaving themselves, that the steam turbine's in service, uh, and that the flue gas treatment center is operating correctly, just ensuring that we've got safe, stable, continuous operation of this facility, completely in line with all the facility consent. The waste bunker can hold up to 9,000 tonnes of non-recyclable waste ready for treatment. All energy from waste plants in the UK operate under strict requirements to protect people and the wider environment. Up to six tonnes of waste is carefully fed by grab cranes into one of the three feeding chutes. It is then pushed by hydraulic rams onto the large moving grates. Large sections of the plant are dedicated to cleaning the flue gases which are released from the waste treatment process. The bottom ash is collected and sent for onward reprocessing into an aggregate which can be used in the construction industry. Metals are also recovered and recycled for reuse. The Rookery South facility is a sustainable alternative to landfill, using non-recyclable household and business waste as fuel to generate electricity. Rookery South is now fully operational and we're excited to welcome you to our new facility, particularly this dedicated visitor and educational centre. Here you can find out more about the plant and how we use science to safely manage residual waste within the circular economy. Around 550,000 tonnes of residual waste are safely processed each year, generating over 60 megawatts of electricity, enough to meet the needs of over 112,000 homes.